In this video, I'd like to take a look at how you can wire in a Sonoff Mini on a typical British uh, lighting circuit over here in the United Kingdom. Um, it's, uh, it seems logical that you would actually take the Sonoff Mini and try to put it behind the light switch. But uh, that poses a problem because the Sonoff Mini needs a neutral. And over here in the UK, the most common way it's wired is that the, the neutral isn't actually behind the light switch. I'll go into a bit of more detail about how um, this uh, pendant lighting system uh, or ceiling rows um, is, is wired in the UK. It's uh, quite a clever system, but it poses some, some minor little problems on how to connect the Sonoff. But it's nothing that can't be overcome. So over in the UK, you've got this um, system which is called um, a loop-in system or a three-plate system. So this is a typical loop-in style lighting circuit used in the UK. This will be these three um, terminal blocks above uh, a ceiling rose. You'll have uh, the incoming supply coming from either another ceiling rose or directly if it's the first light that comes from the um, fuse board or consumer unit, this will be the live and neutral coming in. So your live and neutral comes in, it goes to the main looping um, neutral terminal and the main looping live terminal. And then it loops back out again to the next uh, light fitting. So you always have a live supply, live and neutral supply um, above each uh, ceiling rows. And then um, the live is picked up from the common loop in terminal and it goes to the um, light switch and then the switch live goes um, back up again and to this uh, terminal block here which is the the live supply for the light bulb and uh, the neutral for the light bulb is just um, common together with all the other neutrals and there's no neutral behind the light switch so in order to wire the son of mini um, you need to um, pick up the live from the common live terminal, the loop in terminal, and feed it into the live in of the Sonoff with a little fly lead and do the same for the neutral. Um, you could of course uh, take the lamp, lamps neutral out from the neutral post and connect it straight into the Sonoff here as shown here, but because the um, the lamp itself tends to hang on little hooks next to these two terminals. I I prefer to there, but for for clarity now we'll 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 show that uh, it, the neutral out and the live out switch to come straight out of the Sonoff. So originally this um, light switch would have uh, picked up a live from there, and then um, the switched out would go to this terminal here and the light bulb would pick it up from there. We've taken these out. Um, so this light switch here is no longer connected to any live circuit whatsoever. It's simply just on these two gray terminals here as a signal to turn the sun off on and off. So you have a manual switch option. Um, so I'll show you how this is done in practice. Um, there's more than one way to do this, but uh, this is just a simple diagram of how it would work. So we have these uh, little flexes here, uh, but in reality this would be up above the ceiling um, and it'd be twin and earth. So they'll be, um, on the new colors, they'll be uh, uh, brown and blue and a um, uninsulated earth, which has to be sleeved. But it's just easy to demonstrate with, um, with this 0.75 mil flex. So you unscrew your uh, ceiling rows. So you've got your live and neutral coming in to the loop in terminal. That's the live loop in terminal and the neutral loop in terminal. And then it goes out to the next light. And then um, it picks up the live to the light and it goes to the light switch. Then it comes back, the switch live comes back then feeds into this terminal block here, which is the one for the, the live supply for the light and the neutral all comments together for here. So what we need to do is um, 
get a few little fly leads like these. Um, I prefer these um, 0.75 mil ones because they're, they're easy to terminate into the um, Sonoff. I've put a bit of Sharpie um, on the terminal block markings because uh, it's uh, very difficult to read them so it darkens them and I've just wiped it off that way it makes the uh, the uh, um, live neutral markings and the switch line markings all a bit clearer. So I think we'll start by um, giving the uh, Sonoff a, a live and neutral supply. So I've cut these little fly leads and uh, it's marked in neutral in here. So we'll go there, first one. And then we'll do the live, live L in, live in. And then uh, we'll take that straight to the uh, ceiling row supply. So here's our um, common loop terminal for the uh, live and the common loop terminal for the neutral. So what we can do is we can uh, just uh, double up with one of the uh, neutral wires that's really there. Just go in next to it if there's space. And um, we're physically going to take the switch, the switch wires out because they're no longer going to be active live switch wires. They're going to go straight into into these great terminals here, which are ultra low volt, um, extra low voltage terminals, only like 3.3 volt logic terminals. So um, that's going to be wired into this. So we'll take those ones out. And sending it as a switch live over to the lamp, which is this one. So now <clears throat> we can pick our live supply up from this loop internal here so now our Sonoff has live and neutral feeding to it so the uh, switch uh, lines they can now go directly into the gray it doesn't matter, matter which way around they go it's a little gray terminal block here that's why they I think originally they were all the same color, but Sonoff decided on this new version to make it gray so you can distinguish it from the actual live side. Right. So now um, we have a neutral supply. And now what we can do is we can feed the light live out um, to the light here. Now, of course, you can simply take, take this out, the switch live out. From this terminal block here but it gives it some hang some support for the flex to hang on so I would prefer it to be in that screw terminal so we'll just have a little fly lead coming out from there so now this goes to live out So we go live and neutral in and uh, we have our switch live coming out and uh, it's got uh, the neutral out here but we don't need to use that because they just bridge the cross and this is already picking up its neutral from there so in theory that's all done now unfortunately this original cap uh, won't screw back on so this is the point where you need to decide whether this needs to uh, be popped above the ceiling or if you want to use something uh, like this. Um, I would prefer something like this. It gives me easy access to the Sonoff. Just pop that in there, like so. This should go straight over the top. Now this doesn't screw on, but what it does do, you pull, you tug on the cord a bit and then you do the grub screw up. And now it covers the, the wiring nicely. So let's uh, supply it with some power. So 
it works like a regular switch now. Um, the sonoff is sitting in there. And uh, you can um, also turn it off with your voice. So turn on the mini. Works just fine. All right, turning mini on. Turn off mini. Okay, turning mini off. Now, of course, nothing stops you from taking off the original ceiling rows um, altogether and replacing it with a more modern, um, uh, more stylish uh, type of light fitting. Um, and then, of course, you can put everything, all your connections into a little um, box like this. I would recommend using a bigger box because this was a bit of a tight fit. And you can use these uh, Wago style spring connectors. These aren't Wago, but these, you get different type of uh, connector blocks. You can either use traditional connector block like this. I prefer to use the spring lever type. And you can make the connections yourself. And um, this could be sitting straight inside the light fitting. It's becoming more common in the UK to use um, uh, Edison screw type bulbs for all sort of fancy, fancy type bulbs. Um, like, uh, for instance, this uh, vintage looking bulb, which is Edison screw. Um, yeah, so you can... Um, one thing I would say, if this is going to go inside your light fitting base, and the base is made out of metal, it would severely um, uh, dampen the Wi-Fi signal, and there's a chance that the Sonoff might not pick up your Wi-Fi. But uh, it's... Uh, it's certainly doable. Um, if you do have a metal base, don't put the, the sun off directly into the metal base, put it above the ceiling so that it gets a good signal from your Wi-Fi router. But um, in reality, I do think that uh, a lot of people are moving away from, from this uh, three plate ceiling rose pendant system. Uh, because it's uh, it's it looks kind of dated, clever as it is, um, they might still use the same type of wiring, but up above the ceiling in a junction box. Um, so that's what you can do. You can you can just use these spring lever connectors instead of um, instead of this uh, this three plate wiring wiring terminal. So there's a few different options. It's definitely usable. Uh, the hardest one is, of course, is to try and bring a neutral down to the light switch. But um, the Sonoff Mini is, is excellent. It's really tiny. They've, they've managed to make it so that it could possibly fit in a back box as well. Um, it is becoming more common in the UK to have a neutral behind the light switch because I think the future is all these smart electronic uh, style switches, smart switches that are Wi-Fi enabled. But uh, this gives you a more traditional feel where your existing light switch stays on the wall. Some people don't want an ultra modern looking light switch. They, they kind of like the discreetness of having a traditional light switch on the wall. Or they might have a very fancy chrome one and they, they like the look of it and they want to keep it standard. So this allows you to retain your standard lighting fixtures, standard lighting wall switches, but gives you the um, smart Wi-Fi functionality and voice control. So that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so um, and hit that like button. This uh, video was kind of a follow-up video to my uh, Sonoff Basic um, light switch um, mod hack. Um, now with the uh, Sonoff Mini you don't really need to do that anymore. This kind of replaces that. Uh, but yeah, leave a comment um, and then um, we can uh, discuss things further. and. Um, I hope to see you very soon. Thanks for watching.